few details tonight in the deadly shooting at the Memorial Day motorcycle rally in Red River. State police say the three men killed and five wounded in yesterday's shooting were all members of outlaw motorcycle gangs. News 13's Marilyn Upchurch joins us with the details. Alexa, as dozens of officers remain on the streets of Red River tonight, the state police chief has a strong warning for outlaw gangs in the state. I'll apologize initially to uh, the law-abiding citizens that came to Red River to have a good Memorial Day weekend, not the gangbangers that are ruining it for all of them. State Police Chief Tim Johnson says the conflict started over one gang member taking a photo with a different gang while in Albuquerque. That led to a confrontation around 5 o'clock yesterday along Main Street in Red River between two motorcycle gangs, the Banditos and the Water Dogs. These gangbangers who are lawless, uh, and what they are are gangbangers, um, you know, choose to have a three-day sleepover in New Mexico um, and not follow any of our laws and bully people around here. And that's not going to be tolerated for the rest of this weekend or any Memorial Days moving forward. Two banditos, Anthony Silva and Damian Bro, along with Water Dog member Randy Sanchez, were killed and five taken to hospitals. Another Water Dog who was injured, Jacob Castillo, is charged with murder and will be booked when he is released from the hospital. Two other gang members injured were also arrested for unrelated charges. Today, Chief Johnson says his officers are on the lookout for motorcycle gang members across the state with orders to stop them for any infraction or probable cause. For everyone, there will be zero tolerance from this point forward. Uh, that is traffic violations for one mile an hour over, seat belt, jaywalking. Uh, we are going to stop and talk to everyone if they violate any law. He says 65 to 70 officers remain posted up in Red River for now with checkpoints on each end of town and monitoring at the bars to make sure people are not overserved. He's asking the public to keep an eye out as well. I wish I can guarantee everyone that they're safe, but uh, if you see them around and they're in a group, and uh, give us a call so we can collect the intel. Two hospitals, Holy Cross in Taos and UNMH in Albuquerque, all, are also being secured by police. The chief saying no innocent civilians were hurt in the crossfire. Alexa, back to you. All right, thanks, Marilyn. The FBI is helping with the investigation to see if federal charges can be brought against anyone involved. Chief Johnson says they believe everyone involved in the shooting is accounted for and there are no suspects outstanding.